Hey guys, here as you interview the LEGO Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker Resistance A-Wing Starfighter. So this is the box itself right here and as you can see it's recommended for just 7 up and this is set 75248 and comes with Q name figures which are Snap Wexley and Lieutenant Connix. And the box art itself, it does look really good. And at the corner here, you have Kylo Ren. And this is the top, which shows you the actual size of a Snap Wexley. And this is the side of the box, which shows you the A-Wing. This is the other side. This is the bottom. And finally, this is the back of the box, which shows you the features and the A-Wing landed in a forest kind of planet, I guess. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the box. So this is the instruction manual right here, and this is the first page, and yeah, it just shows you some of the scanning stuff, I guess, and here it shows you the numbered bags, and here it shows you how to build Snap Wexley, and this is the first page of the build, and the final page of the build, it's right here, and you have uh, this, and you also have uh, the figures, which they show you the figures that came out from the same wave, and this is all the sets from the same wave and yeah here it shows you the uh, Lego Star Wars uh, the Skywalker Saga game that's coming out uh, in 2020 and you have the parts list finally and yeah this is the back but aside from that that's pretty much it for the instructions so these are the extra pieces right here you have the extra spring loaded missile and you have this right here and you have this Technic piece, you have the round towel, you have a one by one, you have another uh, of the same Technic piece but in yellow, you have uh, this brown bar piece, you have a connector right here, and finally you have a stud with a hole in the middle. So yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for all of the extra pieces. So the first figure right here is Snap Wexley. So he is armed with a blaster pistol and he comes with the helmet right here, which does look really good. It has a yellow visor and yeah, you have quite a lot of detailing on the helmet. Uh, on left side and also the right side and the right side here you have the resistance insignia and under there you have his face print and yeah this is the only thing that's new about this figure and the beard detailing here is actually really good I do like how they did it and for the torso prone right here you have the uh, resistance pilot jumpsuit you have the breathing apparatus you have the resistance insignia and you have the white jumpsuit down there and you have the belts and buckles and this is the back he doesn't have any alternate expression which does kind of suck you have uh, the white jumpsuit and you have the belt right there and yeah here's a comparison with the figure that came out in the resistance x-wing uh, micro fighter set so yeah the only thing that's different is the face print and you can see the face print it's different when you see them side by side and face print right here you know you can see it's slightly different the eyebrow is also in a more of a different position and yeah the beard it's slightly different you know you have a more detailed beard for this guy and yeah the mouth it's slightly curved up on the right and yeah but aside from that, the figure, it's pretty much the same. The color of the torso piece and also the leg piece, it's uh, slightly brighter than the original figure, I guess. So, yeah. Aside from that, that's uh, pretty much it for Snap Wexley. So, the second figure right here is Lieutenant Connix. So, she is armed with a blaster rifle and she does come with the layer hair piece in a different color, which is definitely a very nice crib build. And for the face print itself, I'm not sure if it's new. Um, it kind of looks like the Jin Erso face, which has been reused quite a lot of uh, times. And this is the alternate expression. And for the torso print itself, you have the jacket right here with the uh, plaque right here. And you have uh, the pocket, you have the belt, and you have the undershirt. Uh, there's no leg printing for the figure. And this is the back torso print, which does look really good. And this is how the face print looks like with the hair piece on. And yeah, uh, aside from that, uh, this is quite a simple figure. And yeah, that's pretty much it 
for Lieutenant Conix. So this is the A-Wing Starfighter itself right here. So let's start with the front. So the front, as you can see, there are quite a lot of stickers here. You have uh, the screen stripe right here, and you have this yellow semicircle, which I'm not sure what kind of symbol this is. But yeah, here you have uh, the slit right here, which is for towing. And at the back here, you have uh, these two uh, triggers, which you can press down and the spring loader missile, it will fire. And yeah, the spring loader missile, it is concealed at the bottom, which is a very nice integration. It's not new, but it's definitely a very nice feature. And yeah, you can fire it just by pushing down. And yeah, it works really well, which is definitely great. And yeah, near the cockpit, you have these two uh, gold bar pieces. Which here you have uh, the symbol right here, which I'm not sure what uh, symbol it's supposed to be. And you have uh, the laser cannon right here, which you can swivel around 360 degrees and you can fire at the back, which is nice. And it's on both sides. And yeah, the round symbol here, it's not present on the other side. So yeah, there's that as well. And next to the cockpit, you have uh, these two sticker pieces right here. And on the cockpit piece itself, you have two sticker pieces and you can open up quite easily. And inside, uh, there's a seat for the pilot and there are no control sticks or anything like that, which does kind of suck. And yeah, uh, the figure, it doesn't clip onto any studs. It just kind of slots in the middle of this modified piece, which is uh, definitely really nice. It does have quite a lot of space inside. And yeah, uh, so this is the back which you have the engines right here and you can kind of move them around but they're supposed to be just stationary and here you have uh, the sticker piece right here which is present on the other side as well and here you have uh, another sticker which is only on one side and you have the crusters right here which you have the yellow pieces and you have this round piece right here which is a Technic piece and yeah this right here this is the fusion reactor and this is the bottom of the ship which has the landing gears and yeah the landing gears they kind of make the ship lean forward so if you're gonna go into flight mode you can uh, push these uh, landing gears inside and yeah they do fit quite well and you can hold the ship from here and yeah it does feel very nice to hold and yeah but aside from that I believe that's pretty much it for the A-Wing Starfighter. So, origin of this set here, so how to do it? Well, for the figures themselves, I think the figures here, they're great. Snap Wexley, he's really cool, and he doesn't need much improving, and I'm fine that they carry over the version from the Microfighter set, and yeah, he's a really cool figure, and I think he looks great. And for Lieutenant Connix, I think she's cool as well because she hasn't been made in lego form and it's definitely nice that she is in lego form and for the build itself i think the build here is great i like the spring loader missile feature and uh you know i think it looks great uh but the stickers you know you just have to line them up correctly and yeah the main problem with the build itself is the lack of uh controls because it's really lacking something inside uh, and yeah, I wish that maybe they would have added some kind of control uh, maybe a control panel or a control stick that would have been great and yeah and also another problem with this set it doesn't feel like it's worth your money I think they should have added like a side bear or something in here because it really feels like uh, it's not uh, worth your money even though the A-Wing build is quite big but yeah it, it would be better if they have added some kind of side build or something. Aside from that, I think this set here is great. If you like A-Wings, then I think you'd definitely like this set too. And if you have missed out on the previous versions of uh, A-Wings, then yeah, you should definitely get this one and it's pretty good. And if you like it, I definitely recommend you getting this one. So, buttons for the set here down in the description box below, along with my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch our videos right here. So that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.